Hello everyone. This is the celebratory video of the launch of all the titles, the declaration of the release of all of the titles for the Sega Genesis Mini. Let those words sink in. The Sega Genesis Mini System. Allow me to awaken my computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 42 titles, 42 titles that are ready to go for the Sega Genesis Mini. Some of the greatest hits of the system, particularly a lot of later gen titles that really maximize the power of that system. Plethora of articles. Sega Genesis Mini, all 42 games coming to the tiny console. Aww. This is as of June 4th, which was yesterday. Sega announced the final 12 games on the roster, including Road Rash 2 and a surprise port of Darius, which is an import game. Thank God, Sega, your import catalog is outstanding. Why wasn't there a Lemonade Down on this? That would have blown people away. That shooter is amazing. They need to come out with a Sega Import Mini. Well, they probably do, but I mean, we'll have to take a look at that and see if they have one releasing in Japan and what games are on that one. I'm not gonna go through the final 12. We're gonna go through 42 titles, baby. Boom! Sonic the Hedgehog. Shocker! Echo the Dolphin, which is a good game, give it a chance. Castlevania Bloodlines, one of the greatest games in the series. Oh, the harpies with the heads that fly off and they roll off and blood, oh, come on now. Space Harrier 2, I mean, that's like old school cool right there, right? Shining Force, right? Strategy JRPG, man, grid-based, can't go wrong. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Good puzzler. Toe Jam and Earl. That's like, that's like, you know, modern American Genesis classic. Comic Zone, again, later generation title. Visually impressive on the system, still is to this day. I'll say it again. Comic Zone is still visually impressive to this day. But it is brutal hard. Altered Beast, again, that was the game that got me to buy the system with the speakers and the dun, 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 dun. I mean, yeah, I can play Altered Beast at home. It's practically a, 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 an arcade, a, 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 a parody, almost 100% parody arcade ports. Very good. Gunstar Heroes, the treasure classic game that has been duplicated numerous times on multiple systems. It's a fantastic game, including by Konami. <laughs> Contra Hardcores. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, one of my favorite games on the Genesis. I'm sorry, the music, the gameplay. It's a wonderful platformer. Whether you think Disney is like some Illuminati, you know, mind control, a fantasy world, whatever you think about Disney, that is a good game. The net, they included another one, World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. They are both very good, high-quality games. Thunder Force 3, wonderful shooter. Super Fantasy Zone, again, that's a uh, cute em up and we love it. Shinobi 3, mm -hmm. okay, you get the dog. I like Revenge of Shinobi, the original one. Uh, on the Genesis. Um, Streets of Rage 2, probably the best game on the system. Earthworm Jim, again, this is, I believe, a shiny entertainment, uh, groundbreaking game, visually stunning on the system. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, what a shocker. Contra Hardcores, so you get both. You get Gunstar and Contra Hard Hardcores. I mean, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? Landstalker. If you've never played Landstalker, that is a game you should play today. Genesis games that you should play today. That's a new video coming up. I just thought of it. Yes. Genesis games that you should still play today. Landstalker is classic. Shining in the Darkness art style. 
uh, isometric puzzler adventure. It is a genre breaker. Get it. Uh, Real-time combat. I mean, wow. Mega Man The Wily War. So boom, you got a Capcom Mega Man game on your Genesis. Whatever. Street Fighter 2, if you're a Mega Man fan, that's the game to have. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, classic. It was great on the system. A little faster than the um, Super Famicom or the Super Nintendo. It ran a little quicker. I have the um, Street Fighter 2 for the uh, Super Nintendo. It is very good, but it is a little quicker on the Genesis. Ghouls and Ghosts, classic. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Those are very good, underrated, uh, sitting in Mario's shadow, but God, they're, they're, they're actually more engaging in ways. Beyond Oasis, again, visually stunning, later generation game, fantastic. Golden Axe, classic, what do you want? Fantasy Star 4, End of the Millennium, to be honest, that is the best Fantasy Star game. It is the most complete experience. All the other iterations have aspects that are excellent. I mean, Fantasy Star 2 is a big fan, but Fantasy Star 4, End of the Millennium, great. Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, it's a fun game. Vector Man, again, that's, that's a, like a, a tech demo of what the system could still do. Wonder Boy and Monster World, one of the better monster, one of Wonder Boys, one of the better Wonder Boys. Tetris, again, that was the Tengen game. So you got the, the, the most popular puzzler ever. Uh, Darius, again, this is the Japanese import of Darius, never came out over here. And it is absolutely a wonderful game with uh, alien, evil, techno fish. Road Rash 2, classic stuff. I love the original Road Rash, but Road Rash 2, worthy. Strider, again, one of the most visually impressive games. Yes, it was a flicker, a flicker fest, but uh, it was, uh, it's still to this day one of my favorite Genesis, Genesis games of all time. Virtual Fighter 2, don't care underwear, really. It's, yeah. Sorry, I've always wanted to be excited about Virtual Fighter, and it is, the physics were kind of cool back in the day, but it just, I think for a lot of people, it just kind of lost me. It just doesn't have any heart to it. It's more technical. Um, Alicia, Alicia Dragoon, this is a wonderful title. Um, this is a classic, um, just like a side-scrolling beater, mystical, I mean, it's just great. It's great to see a game of that quality, and it, it's a little niche -y. it's a little more obscure on the Genesis, but wow, what a great game. Kid Chameleon, another great game, another great underrated platformer, you know, uh, um, Nintendo dominated on the platformers, and Sega put out some really interesting offerings. Um... Monster World 4, uh, not bad. I mean, it's good. If you get into their into their platformers, that's a good one. Eternal Champions, right? So the classic Sega fighter that went up against Mortal Kombat and failed. Uh, but a lot of work went into it, and it is very unique. And it has interesting fatalities, if you can pull them off. Six-button controller, everybody. Columns, classic. I love columns. Play columns. Enjoy it. Dynamite Heady, uh, that is a underrated gem. It is a classic treasure game on the system and it is outstanding. Dynamite Heady is a great game. It's kind of takes, Puppeteer takes a lot from Dynamite Heady. Uh, Light Crusader, again, this is an isometric um, Diablo style RPG uh, with real time, real time combat uh, and it is just wonderful stuff. So that is a great title to to end up on. The Sega Genesis Mini, 42 games. Every one of them, every one of them is a goodie. Every one of them is a goodie. You cannot go wrong with the Sega Genesis Mini. Get this thing now. Now, let's see, when is it available? Uh, Final 2, 42, Darius is the biggest surprise, 1987, will run on a single TV screen, uh, it, will run a, it doesn't run on the multiple screens, that, that, thing, that thing was a monster. Um, let me see, okay, doesn't line it up. 
release September 19th and will cost 80 bucks. That is a bargain for all this. This is a bargain system. September 19th, June, July, August, September. So you got three and a half months to chew your lip mm, until this, this releases. So again, this is a very Sega friendly channel. I'm a Sega fan from way back. If I had to pick between Super Nintendo and Genesis, Genesis all the way. Totally respect Super Nintendo. I own it, I have games for it. They're classic, I enjoy them. Sega Genesis, baby. Sega Genesis, Sega stepping back into the arena. I love it. This is LVA Outdoor Fancy Action Now for the Gamer.